everybody. Welcome to Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. I am here with my mom again. We're having so much fun. So mm. she is going to be making one of my very favorite things, which is cauliflower and cheese sauce, like homemade cheese sauce. And when I was growing up, I loved it, loved it, loved it. And then I just reminded mom that after I had my first daughter, Shannon, she asked me what I wanted to eat and I said will you please make me cauliflower and cheese sauce so this is one of my favorites and I'm gonna turn it over to mom she's gonna teach you how all right thank you very much I'm sure that as you think back to your home there's always something growing up there was always something that your mom made that was favorites and so this is kind of fun because each one of my kids have a favorite and I've already pre-cooked the cauliflower so I just simply you know how we are quick and easy. This was already pre-cut. It's the equal to about a medium-sized cauliflower. On Annie's stove, it only took about seven minutes to cook. I don't like it mushy, so cook it just a little bit less, and um, it'll be perfect for you. So, now what we're going to take is three tablespoons of butter to melt to make the sauce. Trying to find a good spot to stand to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Where can we stand, right? All right, so I've got, I have preheated my stove and it's melting. I'm gonna wait a second till that's all, I like it all melted before I add any, and add the next step to it. So it'll be just a second here. When I was a kid growing up, there were eight of us, only six till I left till mom and I had babies together twice, cause I'm the oldest. And she would make slumgullion. And what that was is mom was a great cook and when she had leftovers, she saved the leftovers all week long. And then on either Friday or Saturday night, she dumped all, whatever it was, into the pot, added a little sauce to it or a little water to it to make it like a sauce, added some flavorings, dumped it into a pan, put biscuits, homemade biscuits on the top and baked it till the biscuits were golden and she called it slumgullion. You know, we all loved slumgullion. All right, now we're going to add, because the butter's melted, we're going to add three tablespoons of flour. And I like to kind of keep stirring it till it's all incorporated into that butter. Doesn't take but just a few minutes. I'm not... So that looks pretty good. Looks just about right, as a matter of fact. And I'm also going to add to this right now, because this is the way I do it. I've got a half a teaspoon of black pepper and I've got three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to stir in slowly one and a half cups of milk and then just keep stirring as you're doing this because you don't I don't like lumpy so you just keep stirring it until it'll thicken well actually I'm going to add my cheese to it before we get it thickened. Once I get the milk in here. <clears throat> Mom may not remember this, but I remember I was the stir girl. <laughs> like you had me stir. Do yeah. you want to take over? Huh? No, I don't have okay. to. No, I don't have to at all. But I remember that you wanted it. You just had to keep stirring yes. so that it doesn't get lumpy. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants lumpy, lumpy cheese sauce. Okay, now. You can grab an eight ounce bag of shredded cheese if you want. I just take, took a block of cheese and cut it into these little pieces. And I've got a cup of this because we want this cheesy. What's a good cauliflower without the cheese sauce? And I'm making a Do you mess. Want me to stir while yeah, you out? stir while I get that out. Okay. There we are. We got that going on. I'm gonna set that right over there. And then you're just gonna stir this until the cheese is melted and it has thickened a little bit. So while this is going on and I'm stirring away, I'm gonna give you a little hint. Those of us that are a little more mature and we don't like, you know, a few wrinkles that we gain, I have learned one thing when I worked at Publix a few years ago. I, I wore bright lipstick. And if you wear bright lipstick, and you see I've got it on, it hides your wrinkles. People see your bright lips and your bright lipstick, they don't see your wrinkles. So you get a little tip from me today for that. It works, I promise you, it works. Tell them also, so mom 
cut the cheese up in little cubes and I said, are we going to grate the cheese? And you said, we don't need to grate the cheese. She likes to cut it up that way because why? Because I like the way that it melts in here. I don't know why. It's just my thing. And um, I also like on that block of cheese once in a while to make myself a cheese sandwich. But this is sharp cheddar. But you can actually use any kind of cheese. You can put provolone in it. You can use mozzarella. We just kind of like the um, the um, cheddar cheese always growing up. So that's what we've done to it. And it's just about ready to really melt. And as you, this way, as you've got the chunks in it, it's going to thicken. The, the sauce is going to thicken at about the same time the cheese is all melted. Now this is a basic white sauce that you can use for several things. Another thing I love to do with this sauce <clears throat> is if you've got leftover baked potatoes, or sometimes I just, I just take potatoes and um, cook them purposely to be able to use this cheese sauce on them. Or throw in a little green peas. I love that too for color to add with the potatoes. Now, if you can see, it's bubbling pretty good and beginning to thicken up. And we are almost done with this, ladies. Almost done and gentlemen. So it's not as hard as what you might think. No, look like how easy. Just butter, flour, salt, salt pepper, pepper, milk, and cheese. And right. it's done. Okay, so Miss Annie, where do we want to move? How about if I put this over here? Can okay. I put this right here? Can, put Can it you right guys there? see that? And then, ah. okay, Mom. What do we need? Just put it right there. Are we okay? Yep. Okay, and then you just pour this over the top, like so. Now this might be a little more than we really need, but you. You can never have too much cheese no. sauce, right, Annie? No, Mom. It's gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm. It will. I can. I've made this before for myself, and I've literally eaten the whole pot myself, mm -hmm. like the whole head of cauliflower, because mm -hmm. I love it so much. She didn't like to share with the rest of the kids when she was home either. That's true. There you go, Miss Annie. Just take that. I'm just going to mix this in here just a little bit, and then lunch is ready, Annie. I know. I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> You want to hand me the plate and I'll yeah. dish this up some? Yes. Woo. I like the way this is working out. Okay. Quick and easy. I'm going to put a little extra on here because Annie will probably take two bites. For sure. All right, Miss Annie. Got okay. our spoons? Got the spoons. Okay. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my gosh. As Mom. my mother would say, that is so good. Make your tongue slap your brains. Yeah, so good. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. We are so happy that you're here. And always remember that you can do what? Hard things. You can do hard things. Take care, everyone. Easier. All right. Bye. Mm.